Good morning, everybody. Let me sing you a song. Good morning. How you how you can't catch your own beat? <laughs> You know you are not musically inclined when you can't even catch the beat you starting for yourself. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Snap. Today's gonna be a good day. Snap two times. <laughs> Y'all, I just left the gym. I just left the gym. It is six something in the morning. Okay, it's 710 in the morning. <laughs> but I've been in the gym since 530, y'all. Your boy finna get back down to his fighting weight. I'm finna be doing a lot more PTOs. And I gotta get down to my fighting weight just in case one of y'all try me on the road. Cause y'all think y'all think I'm by myself when I come to y'all's vicinities to speak to your loved ones, but I'm never by myself. I always got pokey, I always got sticky, and I got thunder and lightning. And they both strike together. You see that bird right there? Caught him. <laughs> Y'all, I'm just in a good mood today. I'm just glad to be back doing videos consistently. I hate taking a break from y'all, man. It's like I ain't talked to my... It's like y'all my bad cousins that I can't wait to see at the family reunion. <laughs> I ain't seen y'all all year, baby. <laughs> What's going on, family? But yeah, it's been raining, y'all. It literally just stopped raining again when I was on my way home from the gym. That's why I stopped. I, did, I really didn't think I was going to have an opportunity to shift today because of the weather. So I'm out here early this morning. I know y'all hate when I come here early in the morning. Y'all <laughs> are never very talkative to me when I come this early. So I apologize to all of our spiritual family out here. But if anybody would like to talk to me in this morning session, I would love to hear from you. Y'all know me. My name is Daylin, and I come in love, peace, and respect. Good morning, good morning, good morning to all of those that are resting. And my bad for those who I'm waking up. <laughs> Good morning. Is there anyone awake right now that, well, I mean, I don't know if you sleep, but is there anyone up and active right now that would like to speak to me? What's your name? I think this is Did you say Lynette? Okay, Lynette. Can you tell me how old you are? Uh, I like she says she's dead. What? What? Um, Lynette, are you buried somewhere around me? In the back of you? Are you somewhere back here? Is that close? Are you somewhere over here? Okay, Lynette, I think I can hear you. And it sounded like you said you were somewhere in the back of me. What is it that you would like to tell me? Was 
Emily. I just never came. You said what? You just never what? It sounded like you said something about sing. I could have made that up. Did you like my singing? <laughs> yep. Do you want me to break out in another one for you? I'm not really. I'm done. That was rude. But I respect your honesty. <laughs> Why you didn't like my show? I feel like that wasn't Lynette. I feel like that was somebody else. That was Patrick. Patrick, why you didn't? Thank you, Lynette, for telling on Patrick. I appreciate you. Patrick, why you didn't like my senior? It was terrifying. Hold on, hold on. Can I, can I give you another try? He said he's desperate. Hold on now. I feel like this is American Idol. <laughs> Hold on, Simon Cow. <laughs> now, Patrick, brother, can you please explain to me why you don't like my singing? Lynette obviously wanted to hear another tune. I'm just trying to understand where I went wrong with you, Patrick. Lynette, can I sing one more song for you? Lynette, do you mind if I sing one more to you? No. Thank you. Thank you, Lynette. Patrick. He said, give it up. <laughs> Listen. Let me tell you something. This is a this is one of them lessons in life that you have to learn sometimes. Sometimes you have to turn your back on the ones that don't believe in you. Like Patrick. And you just turn around and you face your crowd of one like Lynette. And you sing your heart out. Because it ain't about the ones in the back, Jack. It's about the ones that's cheering for you in the front. Y'all can pass that off and play them around. <laughs> Whenever you choose like it. <laughs> but Patrick, this ain't for you, my boy. This is for Lynette. <clears throat> Since it's 7 o'clock, <laughs> here we go. This is an old school jam from my guy, Usher. <laughs> it's seven o'clock on the dot. I'm in my drop top cruising the streets. Uh, uh. I got a real pretty, pretty little girl that's waiting on me. Do, 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 do. I pull up. Anticipating good love, don't keep me waiting. Yeah, Lynette, what you think about that, girl? <laughs> Lynette, did you like my song? I must. I sang it a little bit better than Usher. I don't know if you've heard his version, but mine's a little bit better. Now, 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 Patrick. What do y'all think about that version, Patrick? Did you like that version of what I just did? But, uh, 
Patrick, you still here? Patrick done left out the show, y'all. Patrick done walked out the show. <laughs> Did I ever tell y'all about the time I tried out for American Idol? I slept in the Georgia Dome for 36 hours <laughs> to try to try out for American Idol. And I performed that song right there. Just as bad as I performed it now. <laughs> oh, what a time to be 18 in Atlanta, Georgia. Is there anyone else that would like to speak to me? Does anyone have a message for me? What up, Walter? They keep popping up, brother. What you doing here, Walter? What you got going? So you busy now? Forget everything. This is forget everything. You know, Walter, what you doing, bro? <laughs> sound like they were saying there's a lot of children around here. <laughs> Why are there a lot of children around here? Do the children here need help? Okay. I don't know what that was about. It just seemed to be hard to understand towards the end of the session. I'm curious to get the earphones and go back and listen and see what comes out and comes what comes up. All right, family. I need to check the weather. I need the weather to break so I can start getting out and shift. It's just been raining the past couple days. I got some new stories I need to tackle. Got a lot of stuff coming, guys. We got a long list. This weather just needs to clear up. Yeah, it's a lot. Y'all, thank y'all for shifting along, shifting along. A lot of y'all been sending PTO requests. We're gonna get to you. We're putting together a schedule. What do y'all think about these PTOs, man? I'm gonna go live and discuss it. I just wanna know what y'all think. Like, y'all think that we're doing good? Y'all think that we're playing with fire? So far, the two experiences that we've had have been positive. Like, I feel like 
we've really con connected with who we were trying to connect with. Now, I'm just curious, what do y'all think? Y'all want to see more of them? Or do y'all feel like, you know, it's it's playing with fire and, you know, inevitably you're going to knock on the wrong door? Or y'all like, whatever, we want to see it either way. <laughs> So either way, man, yeah, I just want to know your thoughts in the comment section. What do you think about the PTOs? I think so far so great, but who knows? Who knows? And I'd be nervous. I don't know if you can tell during the sessions. I'd be nervous, man, because I, I, I really care about the experience of the person. And I don't know what's going to happen. I have no control over what's going to happen. So it's just like, yeah, I'm winging it with them. <laughs> But it's cool. I'm really enjoying it. It's cool. It makes me feel good assisting people in feeling good. Cuz death can be a tricky thing, man. It can be it can be very, very sad for a number of reasons. But it's interesting to think to consider the idea that these spirits can still be here and available for us to speak to or they can hear us or they're aware of us and what's going on so just to meet these random people all over the country and hear their stories about their loved ones from them being in a band to them winning football championships in high school like it's just cool it's just cool to bring the stories back to life of those that were there remembering and honoring because everybody got a story and it's it's part of the graveyard shifts mantra if you haven't read your handbook <laughs> to respect and repeat the stories of those that came before us no to respect and share that sounds better to respect and share the stories of those that came before us somebody write that down before we forget it <laughs> the mantra of the graveyard shift which is not a cult by the way <laughs> now it's, it's getting more cultish by the day with these rules but it's not a cult <laughs> i promise you <laughs> until i make pamphlets <laughs> we are not a cult <laughs> but the mantra of our not a cult <laughs> the mantra of our non-cult is am i about to be attacked The mantra of our non-cult is to respect and share the stories of those that came before us. This is the graveyard shit. Your pamphlets will be in the mail soon. Love, 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 eternal love. Catch you tomorrow. <laughs>